All right, once again, we want to give all praises to Yahawa, Basham Nawashai, Basham Hakoda Shoka. This is um, the Trinidad camp. This is Brother Kwada. This is Brother Lamar. Inshallah. We come together today to do a, a vid, you know, on the scriptures is a comfort to him that dwell therein. Because by dwelling in the scriptures, that is how you will know basically what to do. You know? And, um, yeah, just want to say also, um, double honor to the elders, the apostles of great men, so that surely we will well, right? And salutation to the Akim that pushed this without the insincerity and truth. Okay. Right? So, yeah, as the brothers explain, you know, um, basically the, the scriptures have a lot of comforting words in it for us, especially coming back to your nationality, uh, as, as to say, because once at a point in time, you know, we. Being a people, we didn't know who we was, right? The scriptures say, all these curses shall come upon thee until thou be destroyed. And we know according to the scriptures, the Lord will not cast away his people who he foreknew, right? So when it means destroyed, all it meant is that we lost our heritage, we didn't know who we was. But coming back to the scriptures, the Lord tell us why we go through that punishment. And he also gave us comfort in words, basically saying that he'll come back unto us, right? So um, you go give me the Hosea uh, first. Right, the Hosea 1 10 and 11. Right, and then the other precepts will come to 9 and 11. Right, because you know the precepts basically not in um, any particular order. Right, you just basically, you know, Hosea. One and, um, 10 and 11. this is Hosea chapter 1, verse 10, and it says. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the day where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it right, shall so be. So it says, Ye are not my people. So it had a point in time, and the Lord cast us off because we were acting like his children. Right? They were not all Israel that are Israel. Right, and that was the, the Lord was actually talking about the northern tribe here, which is from um, Ephraim down to Issachar. But what happened initially that um, he cast off all the tribes of Israel, right, for the for the sins and the transgression, right. But what he did basically going on in the chapter, I tell you, he bring all of them back. So it says, um, "Ye are not my people." Go ahead. Ye are not my people. Dear, it shall be said unto them. Ye are the sons of the living power. Yes, yeah, so over on this side, we are known as um, Africans, Caribs, Arawaks, Incas, Mayans, um, Mexicans, you know, um, Venezuelans, um, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Trinidadians, and so forth. But we won't call by our um, natural name, which is Israel or Yashar, like he prints the most side, or the sons of God, right? But the scriptures say on the side, basically the place where they were said he are not the sons of God, because everybody tried to hide our the true nationality of the Hebrew Israelites, right? The true people of the Bible. It says that in that land they will be called the sons of the living power, which is happening right about now. Right? So prophecies are being fulfilled. Right? And Apostle Taha named this um so named this year the uh, prophecy. Right? And we don't see prophecies happening um rapidly. Alright? Good. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves yeah, one they, head. They had to serve slavery together, right? The, the um, southern tribe had to come over here um, pertaining to, um, I believe in Jeremiah 51, if I'm not mistaken, um, both Israel and Ephraim will serve, um, Judah and Ephraim will serve captivity together, right? Good. And appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Right. So appoint us one head, Yahweh Shemir Shai, right? And great shall be the day of Jezreel, which means um goes back into the Hebrew word Yazari Allah, which means he um seed of, of power or he seed of God. Alright? So basically Lord telling you he will turn back onto Israel. We had to turn back on Tim, put in into Second Chronicles 7, verse 14. If my people are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, then I will hear from heaven, right, and heal them and their, and their land. 
right? So you start with the first piece that we have, and we just basically go. This is First Maccabees 12, verse 9. And it says, Therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things, for that we have the holy books of scriptures in our hands to comfort us. Yeah, we have the holy books of uh, uh, scriptures to comfort us. Right? When, when a lot of people, you know, the scriptures say, um, what then has Israel obtained that which he seeking for, but only elect. So only the, 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 um, the hopefully elect will not understand this and will be comforted by the words. Right? The rest of all people, they don't know who they are. The scriptures say they'll pine away in their iniquity. Right? They don't look towards the scriptures um, for comfort. But that is why you have to really know your nationality, your, your, your flesh and it won't have to come back onto yourself. And you read the scriptures and you're comforted because the scriptures are comforting words all over for you Negroes, Latinos and natives. Right, which make up the house of Jacob. Right? Go ahead. Um, next piece up, I think, is um, John. This is John 8 and 32. And it says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. When you know the truth, guess what? That, that burden, that burden starts to come off of it. You understand? Yeah, you, you start to see the light when it was in darkness. Because all the time when they're telling you, you is this people is that people you're going to church and they're feeding you. You understand? You walk around in darkness and you, you, you wasn't understanding the scriptures. Right? But when you start to understand the scriptures, when you really start to eat the words, it becomes sweet in your mouth. Alright? Start to become sweet in your mouth. You start to taste that sweetness. You start to feel free. That, 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 that heaviness you used to feel in the world, you don't feel it no more. Right? All praise to see how about shine for that. Alright? Go ahead. Next, next This is Isaiah 43, <clears throat> verse 1. But now thus saith Yahweh that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. For I am, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. Yes, yeah, so the most I basically telling you, don't fear. Right here, redeem us. We mean redeem us, but us back from the hands of our enemies. Which is the so called white man and these other nations because we serve in captivity in their land. Which really and truly this land ain't theirs because this land be, um right belong to our brothers, the, the natives. Right? They just came and they, they um according to the scripture in Ezekiel um thirty five, I believe it's nine and ten we said um the so called white man said these two lands are mine. Alright. This land, this land, hey, all the beauty you see and all around us, whatever the case is, the greenery, it doesn't belong to the so-called white man, but by um, stealing, robbing and spoiling and trafficking, he get to own all of this. He, he covered that which is, um, he basically take that which is not his own. You understand? The law basically said he, he had bought us back from the hands of our enemies. He let us know, hey, you, this people is my people. You understand? And I die comforting woods, I loving woods. Hey, and TLC tell the love and care, you understand? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go ahead. This is Psalms 25, verse, verse 5. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art Yahweh of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Yeah, on thee do I wait all the day. Right? Because he's, 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 he's right now. Using the um the LSE apostles of Great Millstone from El Apostle Taha, El Apostle Roka, El Apostle Um Kba, El Apostle Ariam Lab, all the other elders coming down to the younger men camp leaders, right? Um that is how he leading us to the truth because we must have teachers, right? And then we're gonna have the um older brothers over the younger and um, whoever come in after the, the they teach the multitude of people, hey, these people getting to know that they are Israel. Just some people block the ears. They feel they don't know. We are the we are the true teachers and but the men who, who trust in Yahweh Shem and Shai for salvation, them is who he leading in the truth. You understand just read that over from now again. This is Psalms 25, verse 5. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art Yahweh of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day. Yeah, on thee do I wait all day, because basically he gave us that commandment in Zephaniah 3 and it said, um you know, wait here for me, right? For my um you know basically his purpose is to gather all these nations. 
right? To um, basically like bring them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Yeah, because he also said in our next um, scripture yeah, that it is his righteous judgment that the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So the most high hey, the, you know, the thing about Christianity, sometimes when you're when you're in Christianity, what does go on? You're thinking to yourself as a nation, right? Alright, let me say we as African people. Alright? We used to do sometimes what slave movies. The Django, um, Rosewood, Roots, and Look, you, you'll see all the wickedness that the so-called white man did us as a nation. And not even that, you watch wrong in society and you, you want to know why it is these other nations hate us so, but we we willing to live in peace and harmony with them. Right? The scriptures say I have long, um, Psalms, just now, okay? Right? No, Trying to make the video a little quick too, you know what? Um, don't really want to prolong it. Yeah, this is Psalms 120 verse 6. My soul had long dwelt with him that he hated peace, right? So, we, we as a nation, we, we dwell in a long time for with people who hated peace. Because, hey, sometimes we do the white man, now nah, the scriptures talk about that, but yet, um, hey, King David said it. He said, um, basically, he paid back that which he didn't take. You understand? Shalom. He paid that, that which he didn't take to the so-called white man. Because we ain't going to do the so-called white man nothing just so he'll put us in court systems wherever the cases and, and brutalize us. Right? So when, when you're in Christianity, you're studying, but how come these white people ain't going and get no judgment for the wickedness they're doing? They're robbing with people, they're killing with people, they're murdering, they're raping with people. But yet, them dwelling in a good case. So you want to know, but black people are really fucking curse. But then you, you go to the scriptures, you teach teachers, teacher, and then what? When, when the, the, the oil start to pour you, the Holy Spirit start to pour you, what, what else go on? It, it, it started leading out that part of righteousness, it, it start to comfort you. The word start to fill them, them holes. You know, or if, even our camp, you know, Marcus had to talk about it, the scriptures start to fill them holes they had. Because long ago in the world, and it was empty. But when you come when it come into this truth, that is that is when them holes start to fill it. You understand? Yeah, can. This is Lamentations chapter 4, verse 21 and 22. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Yes, yeah, so this is Mosai telling the, the, the so-called white man or rejoice and be glad. Right? This is something I would like to hear. You understand word? That dwellest in the land of earth, the cup also shall be passed through unto thee. And where's that cup? That cup is the wrath of the Most High, the indignation of the Most High, going back to Jeremiah 25. You understand? And in Revelation, go ahead. Yeah. The cup shall also be passed through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion. Mm -hmm. So the Mosai talking to Israel right about now, Zion, to Zion monument, talking to his people. He say, hey, all the iniquities are um, accomplished. That is it. We don't, we don't get cut us. Cut us through. You understand? We reach that age now that we're going to stop getting licks. You understand? It have a certain age. You're supposed to stop getting licks. You understand? But. O daughter of Zion, he. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Yes, yeah, so we're no longer going into slavery. You understand? We ain't going in the hands of our enemies no more. The scripture say in Baruch, um, Baruch 2 that um, he will no longer lead us into captivities and we're going be, we're gonna be lords over our land. Right? And lords over the whole entire earth because that was our purpose from in Genesis 35. Verse 10 and 11, where the scriptures say that kings shall come out of thy loins. Israel is supposed to be a whole nation of kings. You understand? Behold, a, a, a king shall rule in righteousness and princes in judgment. Am Isaiah 32? Go ahead. Um, we'll read over 22. Yeah. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee in, away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity 
O daughter of Edom. Yes, so now is the so-called white man turn. You understand that is comforting words. Alright, now is the so-called white man turn. Hey, Salak, yeah. You know, to get that, to get his punishment, no. You understand, go ahead. He will discover thy sins. Right? Yeah, he will discover thy sins. And he don't, he don't make me so naked, he don't make me so bare. Because we see him, hey, only a fool. A blind man could see that the so-called white man is the devil. You, a blind man could see he fulfilling Ezekiel 28 when he said, um, basically in his heart, he's our God. You understand? He fulfilling Psalms 14 when he say a fool said in his heart there is no God because they always trying to prove that there is no God. And he tried to make himself God making sex robots, splicing genes, trying to be the, the medical doctor over the whole earth. Putting consciousness into um, human skins. Can. Alright. And all kind of fucking madness boy. A blind man could see that. Right? Well, this is Isaiah 52, verse 1. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Hey, well. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Well. Put on thy beautiful garments, O, o Jerusalem. Yeah, that beautiful garment is this truth. The understand righteousness. Go ahead. Not this better garment if anybody see a hole in the boys. You know, the spiritual. Go ahead. The holy city, for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Yeah, no more these other nations will no more come, come into us and harass us. Like these blasted white crackers across the road. They, they're among us right about now. We don't want to see them. That's right. You understand? The only thing we might want to see is their woman for the, for the thousand years and then after that eradicate all our fucking them because they're wicked. You understand? But the scripture said they will dwell afar off. Right? All the, all the white woman good for is bed winches. If we're not gonna have no mercy on, on, on these wicked bitches, they, not, they never had mercy upon us. That's right. And even if um the scriptures say if we do um basically something good is unconsciously, is the most high who work through he to, to, to do that good for you, being an Israelite. But other than that the so called white man is wicked by nature. Right, good. Verse 2, shake thyself from the dust, arise and... Yeah, come out of that confused state, right? Come out of that um, being an Egyptian, an Ethiopian, being Trinidadian, right? All these different Jesus, all of that is confusion, come out of the dust. Come out of the dust, God. And sit down, O Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck. Yeah, God. O captive daughter of Zion. Yeah, we captive the daughter of Zion. Who, who in captivity by? We. That's the most right. I given us comforting words. Right? That is it. You jump into seven. No? Yeah. Right. Jump into verse seven. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, mm -hmm. that publisheth peace. And as the men are great millstone. You understand? God. First it was Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shem Shai. Um, John the Baptist, you know, coming down to um, Abba Devins, the other elders, the La Posita, hey, beautiful at them and feet, boy. We're going to hear that with our salvation. Well, that bring it good tidings for good and publish it salvation. That say it unto Zion, thy God reign it. Yeah, our, our power in it. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So the times when I'm come that hey, we're going to be joint heirs with your Bashem and Shai. Alright? Um, this is Ezekiel 36 verse 8 and it says yeah but ye O mountains of Israel mm -hmm. ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruits mm -hmm. to my people of Israel for they are at hand to come. Yes, so the Lord even publishing peace to the land. To the land itself, because why? She's a widow. Right? And she, she's um, childless. Go ahead. For behold, I am for you. Yeah, the most I say, I am for you. If nobody else, why? He's for you. 
you Hebrew Israelites, comforting words, God. And I will turn unto you, and ye shall be tilled and sown. Mm -hmm. And and I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel. All the house of Israel. The one who are nation is saying, the boy, Israel boy, the Lord love you. <laughs> Children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? But even all of it, and the city shall be inhabited, and the waste shall be, be built. These places shall be built, right? Because right now you saw have over all land like a desolate place, right? Right, and then the last piece. Uh, oh, well, that was uh, you know, um, yeah. Right, so hey, it have more pieces could come out, right? But we cannot think for time, so you know, just want to say our praises to you, Abba Hashem, Yahweh yeah, Shai, right? The whole honesty, the elders, the apostles are great men, so that shall do well, right? Um, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Hashem, Kodash, right? You know, hey, look, look towards the scriptures for, for comforting words. Lord coming back to redeem his people with a mighty and strong arm. Which is Yahweh Shai, so hey, good of thy loins. Right? The day of judgment coming soon, very, very soon. You know, Akyam stay true, stay strong, sincerity and truth. GMS Trinidad saying, Shalom.